Block party. We are back. Okay. All right, well, did you have fun? I did. I really enjoyed learning about Elijah and Elisha. I felt like you were like literally falling asleep at my party. Really? Yeah. Probably because you didn't have no music. <laughs> go, 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 go. Move your elbows, move your shoulders. Move your elbows, move your shoulders. Go. You are not DJ Khaled. Mm. Anyways, back to our babies. Hey, baby! What's up, guys? How you guys doing? We miss y'all so much. Have you guys subscribed to the channel? Have I you, know, that's right. I've been looking through the comments, and I've only seen one comment. One. Have you guys been telling your friends? I hope you have. Have you been sharing this? Have you been receiving the word? I know that's right. And Miss Nastasha. Yes. I spoke with one person, though. Who? L. Not L Bell. You know what L said? What? Mr. Ramsey. <laughs> I only seen you. Where was Mr. Stashi? <laughs> I, I said, Miss Nastasha didn't come to the party, but she come to the next party. L, I probably didn't have an invitation. <laughs> You're my friend. So I'm always invited. You're always invited. But you know what? I know we talked about Elijah and Elisha. Yeah. About encouraging each other yeah. last week. But mm -hmm. man, this week, I know you got a story you want to share with me because you were telling me about Jesus and Peter. But it's interesting mm -hmm. that Jesus and Peter story, that we find out there's some issues, but it's the end of the story. That's amazing. Can you tell us more? Can you tell me more about that story? Yes. So, you know, the night before Jesus was put on trial mm. to be killed, Peter promised Jesus that he would follow him anywhere. What? Peter even said that he would give up his life for Jesus, that he would lay down his life for Jesus. His life? Yes. Jesus, I'll die for you. He said, I'll lay down my life for you. Wow. So the evening that Jesus was arrested. Mm, mm, mm. Peter got scared. He man up and say, yeah, I'm with Jesus. I'll vouch for Jesus. He got scared. So all that stuff he was talking about, shut down. Shut down. In fact, Peter was so afraid, he told three different people he didn't even know Jesus. Three people? They said, hey, don't you know him? Aren't you with him? He was like, no, that's not me. I don't know him. But he was one of Jesus' disciples. Wow. <laughs> it's so sad. Wow. Peter was actually speechless when Jesus had been arrested. Peter didn't know what to do. So he didn't speak up. He didn't stand up for Jesus. Mm. He acted like he didn't know the man at all. Wow. He was speechless. Wow, that had to be rough. I'm sure Peter felt terrible after that, especially since right after that, Jesus died. That's interesting. So you're telling me, mm. so here's a Peter who is great buddies with Jesus. Real friends. One of his disciples. Dog. Yes. And he denies Jesus mm. he denies in front him. of three people. He denied him three times. Three times? Yeah, it was in front of a lot of people. It wasn't just three people. He denied him three times. Wow. And you know he felt bad because he didn't stand up for him. He was speechless. He was scared. And Jesus was killed that night. So, Miss Stasha, I want to know, so how many how many, how many, many kids you, you think that's, that's watching have rejected their friends in front of somebody else? Mm. Saying I don't know them because you might have not thought they was cool enough. Wow. Or they didn't have the Jordans you had on. Mm. Or, you know, their hair wasn't done the way you thought it should be. So you act like you didn't know them. Or maybe maybe they always get good, good, get good grades in class. Mm. And you don't. Mm. Wow. So, you know, it was rough. Yeah. Of course we know that Jesus came back to life. Hey, come, come on, on, somebody. Hey, yeah, no. And he even appeared to his friends to prove it. Peter must have been amazed and overjoyed to know that Jesus was alive after all. But still, I can only imagine he was also worried. I bet he was in that corner like, oh! Yes, he probably felt awful at what he had done. He probably wondered, is Jesus mad at me? Hmm. I deny him. Is he still my friend? Hmm. Does he still love me? Wow. Why did I have to be so rude? Why did I have to deny Jesus? Mm, mm, mm. 
And it's amazing how when Jesus came back, mm. like he didn't deny Peter. Right. He didn't deny Peter back. He even recognized Peter. He recognized him. Mm. So let me tell y'all about another time. Mm. Mm. So one day after Jesus had risen from the dead, Peter and some friends were out fishing on the Sea of Galilee. Wow. They dropped the nets over and over all night long, but they never caught anything. All night long. All night, all night long. All night. All night. Never mind, you just always mess up a song. <laughs> always mess up a song. <laughs> so all night long, they cast nets over in the sea. They were trying to get fish. They were hungry. Mm. So they went to sleep. In the morning, they saw a man standing far away on the shore. Who do you think it was? Jesus. Come on, get it, brother. Rams. Yes, it was Jesus standing right in front of them. But they didn't realize it was him at first. Jesus called out to them saying, and open your Bibles. Open your Bibles. Get your Bibles, guys. Mm. Open it up to John 21, 5 and 6. You'll see this. He called out to them. He said, friends, friends, don't you have any fish? Mm. No, they answered. He said, throw your net on the right side of the boat. On the right side. On the right. Not the left. Not the left. Throw your net on the right side of the boat mm. and there you will find some fish. Wow, 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 wow. Hmm. I can imagine that night, like Peter and them were scared. Mm. That morning they seen somebody all the way far away and the person calls their names and, wow. and all of a sudden this person is telling them what to do, especially when they were trying to catch something that they've been trying to catch for the last right. entire night. Right. So guess what happened? Mm. Just as Jesus has said, Peter and his friends cast the net on the right side of the boat and they caught so many fish they couldn't even get them all in the boat. Wow. <laughs> John, one of Jesus' disciples, realized it was Jesus. He told Peter, it is the Lord, it is the Lord. Immediately, Peter put on his coat, jumped in the water. The other disciples followed behind him in the boat, dragging the net and all of the fish that caught with them. When they reached the land, they discovered that it was Jesus. Mm. He had already started a fire. Wow. Prepare some fish and some bread for them to eat. Now that is a real friend. That's a real friend. Mm. He told them to come on up and have breakfast. He gave his friends some fish and some bread to eat. And I know Peter was feeling crunchy. I know. Because he had undenied Jesus. Hey, come on now. After they finished eating, Jesus took the time to speak to Peter. I can only imagine. Well, his stomach, his Ooh, stomach was probably report turning. Report card stomach. Y'all ever didn't know what a grade was going to be? Listen, his face probably turned purple, red. Woo! Mm. I could just imagine how nervous Peter was after he had just, knowing that he had just denied Jesus mm. three, times. three times. I'm sure when Jesus pulled him to the side to talk to him, Peter was scared to hear what Jesus was going to say. Mm. But this is what Jesus had to say. Mm. What did he say? Peter was also known as Simon, by the way. Here's what Jesus said. Mm, mm, mm. He said, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these others do? Peter said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Mm. Mm, mm. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. Simon, son of John, do you love me? Hmm. Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Feed my sheep. Mm, mm, mm. So y'all might be wondering what Jesus meant with all of this talk about some sheep. Mm. And I can imagine what Peter is thinking. Wow. Like he's sitting right there with Jesus after eating a good meal and Jesus takes him over one-on-one -on -one and they're having this conversation. So look, y'all wake up. Don't fall asleep on me now because Jesus is talking about the sheep. 
<laughs> when Jesus said, take care of my sheep, mm -hmm. he was talking about people. Mm -hmm. He wanted Peter to lead the people in the church. Mm -hmm. Just like a shepherd takes care of sheep, Jesus explained that the things would be difficult along the way, but he told Peter, follow me. I know that's right. Do you know what that means? It means that Jesus wasn't mad about what Peter had done. Not at all. He forgave Peter and gave him an important new job which is to lead the church. So Peter was nervous who had denied him. And although Peter had denied Jesus, Peter still said, feed my sheep. Do you love me? Feed my people, lead my people to me. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? That's crazy how Jesus mm. would, even through all what they've been through in their friendship, that Jesus would come back and most likely some 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 kids would come back very upset and even talking about the same problem. Jesus doesn't even acknowledge the whole denying part. Like, yo, Jesus come back and ask him, yo, do you love me? But, but this is the kicker. Mm. He asked, do you love me? But how many times did he ask? Three, Three times. Wow. Three times he asked, do you love me? The same amount of times that Peter denied him. Woo! Three times. Jesus wanted Peter to know that he forgave him and that he had big plans for him. Peter must have felt so good and so relieved. Now he could share the love of God with everyone because not only could he just say the love of God, he was actually able to feel it because he lived it, because he denied him and he forgave him. Jesus had to set that man free. Now I know that's that right. That is a real friend. Okay. A friend that knows how to forgive another friend. That's right. And when Jesus forgave him, he made sure that Peter knew that he would always be friends. He didn't let Peter's mistake get in the way of their relationship. And sure enough, Peter went on to be one of the most important leaders in the early church. Thank God that Jesus forgave him because who's to say we might not be the church that we are today. Right. And it's so important when you have friends that even though you, even though your friend may have rejected you, yeah. or even though a friend may have hurt you, yeah. but look at how Jesus deals with Peter. Yeah. He comes back and love Peter beyond what how Peter how Peter treated him, and that's why it's important that to forgive to forgive. You know, even in this time, what if your friends don't yeah. have enough time to talk with you because virtual school has to have them overwhelmed, right? Or you know, because virtual school, right? Let's have a moment of silence for virtual school. Bless God. Yes, Woo! Yes. So that's why there are times that we mess up and we hurt each other's feelings, yes. but friends don't hold on to things. At all. Friends are quick to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's pray and ask God to help us forgive. So let's go ahead and pray right now. Guys, close your eyes. God, it's amazing to see how Jesus forgave Peter. Peter must have felt so bad that he said he didn't know Jesus. But then he must have felt so good when Jesus told him everything was okay. Please help us to be friends who forgive like Jesus. Please help us to forgive others when they've hurt us and they've hurt our feelings. And help us to be brave enough to say, we're sorry too. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. And we Amen. thank you for this time with our babies. Amen. 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 And don't forget to read your memory verse. Mm -hmm. It says, a friend loves at all times. They are there to help when trouble comes. Proverbs 17, verse 17. Don't forget to follow God. Love, love people, people and, and change the city. city. You can do it too. Love you guys! Love you. Yeah!